Hi, I'm Debbie, and this is The Book Ponder. Thank you for stopping by for another video. Today, I wanted to try my hand at making my first ever booktube tag. So I am calling this the booktube makes me happy tag. And really what this is about is spreading the love, spreading positivity, and talking about the things that make us happy here on booktube so that ideally we can reinforce the positive nature of booktube and of other booktubers and we can reach out and spread more love around um, because after all, isn't that one of the best things about being here on booktube? Um, and so I have been feeling a bit blah this past weekend and I stumbled across two videos that I watched back to back and one of those was from Dane over at Dane Reads where he was talking about, I believe he was some of small booktubers and he mentioned some booktubers that made him laugh. And I thought how true that is, you know, that there's so many people here who make me laugh that I enjoy watching just because I think they're funny. And then right after that, I watched Miriam's video where she did like a tag video over at Between Lines in Life. And she mentioned how my videos brought her hope and sort of lifted her mood a little bit when she would see them in her feed. And, you know, that completely warms my heart. And, and it made me remember that one of the best feelings in the world is to give other people ourselves, but to spread positivity and spread love. And so I would really love to do this book two makes me happy tag today. And hopefully you will take this and do what you want with it. You know, change the questions, um, use some of the questions, use all the questions, add questions, do it however you want to do this. Make it your own. Tag yourself because I'm always going to tell you to tag yourself and you do not need to give me credit. I am not one of those people who cares about making sure that my name ends up in every video that ever gets done from this. I don't care. I just want you to really take the concept of this, take the, the feeling behind it, take the goal of this and spread the love, spread the joy spread positivity and go and, and talk in your own ways about how booktube makes you happy and how you can help make other people happy. So I have 10 questions. I'm just going to jump into those. And um, again, if I make any faux pas here, just forgive me up front <laughs> because this is my first booktube tag. Uh, and you know, I'm a person who says I don't even like tags to start with. So there you have it. So the first question is what kinds of booktube content makes you feel good or gives you encouragement? And for this one, I actually have several different things. And one of those is I love seeing shout outs. I love seeing people lift other booktubers up and talk about the booktubers that make them smile and make them laugh and give them warm fuzzies and everything else that is good. Um, I just really enjoy seeing that. You know, I don't always necessarily like the same booktubers that other booktubers like, but at the same time, I just really enjoy hearing them talk about each other. I also love people who can laugh at themselves and people who are funny, who make me laugh with my sense of humor. And that isn't the same for everybody, but you know, I, I'm going to actually talk about that in a minute. And I love introspective type analysis pieces where somebody takes a book theme or you know whatever and they really dig deep into how it relates to their life or um, how it relates to something else. They just take it to a different place. And I will say I sort of have a soft spot for what I call professional type videos. I know that's not a good name for it, but it's videos where you have someone who is say a booktuber and they normally almost always talk about books, but then either slowly over time, they weave it into a few sort of more chatty videos or they just sit down and have a, a big chat and they talk about some of the issues they're struggling with. And I really enjoy those. And I think the reason why it's not because I am the type to watch confessional type things. It's not that. And I really only enjoy it from people that I already follow. I think it has to do with like seeing people be brave enough to reveal something else about themselves, to trust that the people who watch their videos and who follow their channel and who love them 
will continue to do so and will help support them. And they're reaching out and asking for help in their way or asking for understanding or asking for compassion or time or whatever, but they're reaching out. They're not just suffering in silence. They're not just trying to pretend like everything's okay when it isn't. And I admire that. And I really, really appreciate that. And it just gives me encouragement to know that, you know, Booktube is such a welcoming place and it is such a place where we can be ourselves and reach out to other people and connect with other people um, as our real authentic selves. And it just makes me feel good, you know, to know that. So question number two, how has Booktube motivated you or encouraged you to do something you might not have done otherwise? So first of all, I'm making videos. That is the number one thing. I never in a million years would have thought that I would be making videos. Uh, I think I've mentioned before that I used to be around sort of the gardening and the cooking side of YouTube. What I haven't mentioned that I was my very first sort of like obsession with YouTube way back in the day was crafting and sort of art journals and um, different types of art that I used to watch people make art all the time and learn different techniques and things. So I have been around YouTube a really long time and I never ever ever thought that I would be making videos and certainly not like a week or two after seeing booktube videos I was like that's me I'm gonna do that and to put my face on here even I mean with other videos like cooking and gardening and even art journals and things like that, there are a lot of people who do it without showing their face. But to have me here before you, a super introvert who uh, really just wants to like stay in my house and read books all day, to reach out and connect with other people, um, it has certainly motivated me to make friends and to... Um, you know, just connect with other people who are like me. It's hard not to. When people are leaving comments and people are connecting with you, how can you not connect with other people? You know, it's Booktube is just a really amazing place, if you ask me. And so the third question, how has Booktube inspired you to put more positivity out into the world? So for one thing, I'm making this tag. And I would say just trying to put a positive spin on videos in general. I mean, I think critical analysis of books is really important and I think honest opinions are certainly very very important but I also think that sometimes we have a choice whether to frame things with positive action or with just negativity that can't really there's no way to solve the problem if you frame things in a certain way and so I think I, I really try hard when I can to put a positive spin on things and to look at things through the angle of what can we improve here what can be done here what are the good aspects? What can I take away from this that is positive? And then, um, yeah, so that's that's what I would say about that. Now, question number four, what is your favorite comment to hear someone say about you or your channel? And so normally I would say that I love to hear I'm unique. And, you know, I there was this Margaret Mead quote that's, I think it's like, um, you're unique just like everyone else. And I'm, I'm probably badly paraphrasing that, but I really love that idea. You know, that we are all unique just like everybody else. And so that really sort of takes away the uniqueness of being unique. But I will say that when I heard Miriam talk about how my videos bring her hope and made her feel, um, you know, uh, warm or whatever. She said, you know, all the, all the wonderful positive things she said, it gave me joy and even gratitude for just being able to be here and connect with other people and find people who are, you know, kindred spirits out in the world, which I've talked about before that there are so many of you, um, out there. Like I never in a million years would have believed that I could find other people who not only want to watch my videos, but I feel like get me, you know, and I know a lot of us sometimes feel like other people just don't really understand us. I have that big problem where I just, you know, I'll have my own confessional here that I sometimes just really feel misunderstood and feel like other people, even the people closest to me don't really get who I am or what I'm, I'm trying to do. And I don't always speak clearly and I always don't always say what it is that I'm trying to say. And I feel like sometimes on BookTube, we can connect through the language of books and through the language of stories and through the language of narratives. And that somehow in talking about books, we have found other people who 
share our view of life and and have similar goals and beliefs and values and you know not that we are the same but that we are complementary and that we can lift each other up and encourage each other on our own journey, journeys and paths and I just think that that is um, such a great compliment to hear that that I have that effect on other people because I know how it feels when other people have that effect on me and so um, I think that's a huge compliment and question number five, what is an unexpected happy surprise of booktube? So again, along the same lines, I mean, just knowing that there are so many people out here who are book nerds, and I know um, it sounds weird, but I mean, it's like, it can be lonely sometimes. If, if you are like me and you don't have a lot of book nerd friends, even though I'm in book clubs and things like that, and, you know, I talk to other people who read a lot of books, but... I think most of us here on booktube are just at a different level of our obsession with books and it's sort of like you know someone who plays a musical instrument for a hobby and really loves it and and is passionate about it versus someone who makes a career out of it not that this is a career for any of our any many of us but you know what I'm trying to say. Like we feel so passionately about books and reading that it pushes us out of our comfort zones. And that is one of the unexpected happy surprises for me is just connecting with other people um, in a way that just is hard to explain, you know, to, to find kindred spirits. Again, it's always the kindred spirits with me. And so question number six, what is a positive outcome you've gotten from making videos? So this one is, is, I know some of these questions may sound a little redundant, but this one is really different to me. And specifically, this is kind of like a happy surprise, although I'm not going to say this is super happy, but anyway, I'm rambling to stall. And I'm going to just be honest and say that watching myself on video has been a good positive outcome for me. And what I mean by that is, I am the type of person who normally does not look in mirrors very often. I mean, I will look just to make sure I don't have something on my face, but if I'm walking somewhere and I see a mirror, I will look the other way. I don't allow pictures to be taken of me very, you know, very, very rarely do I let myself be photographed. I don't like to look at pictures of myself. Um, yeah, that, I mean, there's definitely issues there. I, you know, I'm not going to lie and say that there's not. But at the same time, like to, in order to edit these videos and to put these videos up online, I have to watch myself. And I think that it has helped me so much, um, not just for whatever issues I have in looking at myself, but also to understand how I'm perceived. Because like I was talking about feeling misunderstood, I think there, I have realized in, in editing videos that there is a gap sometimes between what I was trying to get across and what I as a viewer watching myself understood. And what I kind of mean by that is like there's this, when I watch a video, and this is hard to explain if you haven't done this right, but I film a video and then later when I'm editing it and watching it, there are two sides of my brain at work. There's one that is watching it and interpreting it as a viewer, almost like I'm coming to it for the first time seeing it. And then there is this other part of me that remembers the act of filming the video. And I don't always, but a lot of times I will remember certain things that I was thinking or that I was trying to get across or a dramatic pause for effect. And when I'm watching it and editing it, sometimes the pause isn't even there or the look isn't there or the emotion that I was trying to convey isn't there. And sometimes emotion sneaks in when I didn't even realize it was coming through or a look crosses my face that I didn't really realize I intended. And, you know, I just, it's just hard to explain, but I think that it has helped me a lot try to connect those two parts of myself of the nonverbal hand movements and talks and everything and to try to piece that together with how my message might be understood because I am at heart a communicator. I am all about trying to get messages across and help people understand messages and interpret those messages. And, you know, I think that was a piece I was missing for myself was 
understanding how people interpret my messages and still I can never really know 100% but you know I think it's one step closer to something that I needed to see so that was a, a positive outcome for me and question number seven now we're gonna get into some booktubers and I am horrible at naming people and tagging people you know that it makes me very uncomfortable to do that because a lot of these people don't even know I exist for one thing I mean some of them do but some of the most of them don't and um, there are so many people who are awesome that I just can't list everybody and I may have forgotten someone and so I'm just gonna say up front I'm tagging people or I'm naming people I'm not really tagging people but I'm going to name people because I think it is important for this video to name people even though it does make me uncomfortable to like call people out but um, part of this is all about challenge challenging ourselves to put positivity out into the world and how can we let other people know how much they mean to us if we don't name them so I'm going to name some people and if you are left off and you're watching this and you feel like I should have named you I probably should have you are right and I am so sorry I I do not want to leave anybody out or make anybody feel left out because I didn't name you so enough justification qualification whatever you call that and I'm just going to name some people so these are some of the people that I laugh at almost every time and it is Charlie at Charles Heathcote Beth at Beth chats books Matthew at Matthew Sharapa Noshua at Noshua Reads, Emily at Possibly Literate, Simon at Savage Reads, and Stephanie at Time to Read. And so I think what these people have in common is that they all sort of just are really laughing at themselves, or that's what it feels like to me. Like I'm a fly on the wall listening to them talk to themselves and just sort of amuse, you know, their amusing conversation with themselves. And, um, it's, it's like they have this blend of an intelligent humor with a really sort of down-to-earth humor. And I just really love that. I love that sort of sarcastic, dry, yet not. It's like, it's like I'm in on the joke. I just, I don't know. I really like all of their sense of humor. They make me laugh. If you love to laugh and you think that you like some of them, you don't know other people, go check the other ones out. Because they all sort of, to, to some degree, have a similar sense of humor. And question number eight, which booktubers warm your heart and make you feel all happy inside? And so this is where I really don't want to leave anybody out because if I watch your channel on a regular basis, you make me feel good and you give some kind of positive energy to me because I will tell you right now that I don't, I do not watch people who give me negative vibes. I have tried. I will occasionally watch a video from somebody but there are certain people that I watch and I just I just get the bad juju from and I just I won't watch them so you know if I'm regularly commenting on your channel and watching I enjoy your content I get positive energy from you and so if I haven't named you here I'm very sorry these are some of the people that you know just came to my mind immediately the first one is Matthew at MCS books you know I talk about him all the time as well as Miriam at Between Lines of Life both of them just you know are my fan club and I love them and um, they are great and they do great videos and they have really interesting content that just you know warms my heart every time I watch every single video they do all the way through to the very last second where it stops and um, yeah I highly recommend you go watch their videos if you're not familiar with them and some other people that I really enjoy are Brie at Brie Hill, Emily at Emily Sears, Gabby at Gabby Reads, Adriana at Perpetual Pages, Cece at Problems of a Book Nerd, and Roxanne at The Novel Sanctuary. All of them are just fantastic people. Go check them out. I have links to everybody below. And so question number nine, who are some of your favorite commenters who don't have their own channel? So the reason why I wanted to do this is because it is very rare that we get to give shout outs to our commenters who just come and watch videos and comment and are part of the community, but they don't um, have their own channels. They don't make their own videos. Some of them are thinking about it. Some of them will in the future, perhaps, but um, as of right now, they don't. And so 
I wanted to call out three people who regularly comment on my videos and who I look forward to seeing how my videos touch them and what they think of them every time. And that is Joe Smith, Ingrid Fitz, and she writes is the username. I, I'm sorry, I don't actually know your first name. And so please tell me, I would love to know. And so I am waiting for she writes videos actually, and I think Ingrid might actually put another video out too. And so I am very excited to see more from them if they choose to start a video. But regardless, they touch my heart with their comments and I appreciate everything they say and I appreciate them watching videos week after week. And I, I see their names around on other people's videos. So I know that they're an integral part of this community and they are booktubers and are, you know, part of this community just as much as somebody who makes videos. So, so question number 10 is what is something you can do to put more positive energy out into booktube? And so for this one, I wanted to do something that I feel is small enough that it's manageable and that I'm likely to do it. And so I, I am really excited to hear other people's ideas for this one because I, I really didn't have a lot of ideas of things that I wasn't doing, but I wanted to um, put that out there so that I could hear other people's suggestions for what to do. But for myself, what I came up with was taking my comments on other people's videos a step further. So what I mean by that specifically is I feel like I already leave genuine comments. Um, I don't comment on people's videos just to get my name on there or just to comment. I really try to comment um, from the heart when something moves me, which means sometimes I don't comment because I don't quite know what to say or I think I need to think about it and I'll come back later and then I forget to come back. But anyway, so on my comments, I really want to try to go to the next step and encourage people in my comments so that I'm not just saying how something moved me or yes, I read the book and I really loved it, but I'm thinking of ways to encourage that booktuber um, to continue doing what they're doing because I, you know, like I've already talked about, I know how it can be sometimes where there's this lag between us creating the videos and we're doing it sort of alone and we put it out there and then you take it and watch it and you know, you comment back, but there's a big lag a lot of times and I know it can get lonely. I know it can feel like you're kind of just putting this out there without any feedback, immediate feedback to know how you're doing. And you kind of start to question yourself and wonder, am I doing the right thing? Do they really like this? Is this all worth it? And so I just really think that I can help encourage other people so that they know what a difference their videos make to me and how much they help me and um, that they're just inspired to keep doing that. And so tagging people, feel free to tag other people. I am not going to tag anyone specifically because I just don't, I don't. I Maybe one day I will get over this, but for now, please, 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 if you are still watching this video, definitely, most definitely go do this tag, okay? Do it your own way, make it yours, but please do some version of this tag um, and put some positive energy out into booktube. And as always, thank you for watching my videos and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.